So I don't want to like over egg this kind of like um, stratospheric rise, um, but um, I did read something about your next film. So basically, um, uh, after Rest Stop, um, Kate um, did well. So you had a smear, but you also had um, a five, five by five. five. Yeah. Um, which one was was first? Was five by five. Right. Okay. So yeah. um, the the thing that I read, which um, I'm, you were being very honest about it, and I think quite amusing as well, saying something like you were working in a factory when the BBC called. Was yeah. it for fire extinguishers? What were you making? No. So that was on sex ed. So basically, this is me, I've had a lot of weird jobs, but like, so when, when I got five by five, so I worked for the NHS as a medical secretary for about three years. Um, so I was working for the dental unit there when I got five by five. Um, yeah. So um, just because um, I've got some clips, so we've got like, a few mm. clips to show you if that's all right. And we've got a clip for Smear, which I'll, I'll show yeah. now because um, um, the 5x5 five five kind of comes after sure. that and I wasn't quite sure what the exact chronology. Yeah. So um, if you can set up Smear for us quickly, obviously yeah. there's a, a very nice sort of start of a relationship with a particular actress. Um, and yeah. also this one did quite well in, in terms of, you know, kind of breaking through. A lot of people noticed this one, didn't they? Yeah, so basically Sophia is someone, again, I think we'd done improv together but we'd met, I think we were introduced before, basically it's like a comedy thing, I think people were like, oh you two, you're both weird, you'll get on kind of thing. And so I was like, great. <laughs> so I remember i have been friends with her for a long time and she was in like, I mean I'm sure we'll talk about this later, but like she played like a severed head for me in a poster that I made and like, yeah, she's just really fun and nice and basically, so me and Bryony, we were gearing up with another project we had that's a horror comedy and I was like, well, I haven't really made any like horror comedy genre stuff. We've written a lot of it, but we're not really, I've not really filmed much. And so this was kind of a thing of that. And basically me and Bryony smoke about, uh, smoke, I spoke about getting a, I spoke about well. getting. <laughs> it's so weird now people are going to think that's basically what happened. Like, no, like, um, but no, we, we spoke about basically just getting a smear test and how weird it is, but also like a lot of women don't unfortunately go because, you know, they're nervous or uncomfortable. So I think we made this very strange short as a way to like, I guess, encourage conversation about it and so we could be like you know we were anxious but we went and yeah and just to talk about it I think I think and everyone was kind of united on that and again another chance to work with you know just comedians that I'd met like Nick Mohammed is in it he plays one of the doctors my friend Ben Tarje, who I'd done like I don't know if you'd like any of you follow like, the alt comedy scene but he's an amazing stand-up comedian um so yeah it was honestly similar and Rose came back from uh birthday girls was in Valentine and let us throw her around a room and like <laughs> So yeah, but anyway. So we haven't got the, the full film. We've got like about two minutes of it. I think the, the actual yeah, full sure. running time is something like four minutes. It's short, yeah. Oh, that I should say, that's why again we did it. I mean, the idea <coughs> obviously fitted within a short film. I think it would be, it wouldn't really work as a much longer short, but that, but we definitely consciously, me and Bryony deliberately intended for it to be short, partly for budget, but also because again, I felt like, well, this hopefully then will have a better chance of getting programmed. And it just, it's quite a punchy, kind of weird idea. So it felt, you know, it didn't compromise story for us actually making it shorter. It felt like the right length. Cool. Let's have a look at it. <laughs> yeah. It's so weird. I was just um, uh, conscious of uh, wanting to sort of get through. Uh, I didn't want to put the whole thing in. Maybe I should have done. It feels like we kind of left you hanging there. But um, uh, I think that that was um, something that uh, when I, I mean, it was it was such a well put together piece. Also, um, I was lucky enough to work with Dan Martin as well. who yeah. made your tentacles. Yeah, he's amazing. Yeah, I mean, obviously Kevin Feige saw that and was like, have to get her for Loki. But yeah, no, it's just like it was such a. It's a strange film um, and yeah, I don't know, we really, really enjoyed making it and it was really fun and yeah, and people responded to it. Find us at nodirectionhome.com. <laughs>